Welcome back to the shop. It's about 4.30 in the morning or so. We are on our way down to get the rest of my tools. All right, let's see how we do on gas. I got 139,455 miles on this potato. Let's see what she does. I think it's got a 24 gallon tank in it, or 25 gallon. All right, a little foggy. Clay and I made it. It's eight o'clock, 300 miles later, so too much fog. All right, welcome back to the old shop. We're gonna move the, the sorry, the camera keeps fogging up. Um, got toolboxes. You got a lot of stuff to move still. I'll get some better footage here in a little while. The camera's gonna take a while to cool down and quit fogging over, but. All right, so we've got the trailer loaded. You want to keep most of the weight above the axle in the front so that it doesn't sway. Hopefully, uh, I've got that packed right. It's all just shoved in there, it should be right. And the truck is squatted a little bit. Let's see how that works. Alright, we made it back. Had a little bit of help from my father and Clay. Catherine, who doesn't want to be on camera. Yeah. Maya, Maya was supervising. So, uh, but we made it back. We've got the walker turner. So that's, <coughs> I'd say, 400 pounds, give or take. And then, and you've heard me talk about the service grinder. That weighs 1 million pounds. Um, it's just, just under 400 pounds on its own, but then I have the, I think it's a, I don't know if that's a four inch or a six inch Beverly shear. Uh, that's a really nice shear. I don't really talk about it that much, but I, I, it's, at some point I'll have to figure out where I'm going to put the surface grinder. And that's not going to happen right now because I've got a whole other side of the shop that I have to sort out. And a workbench that is back in its, you know, native, native form. So, that's it. I'm gonna. It's been a. What are we looking at? A 14 hour day so far? 15 hour for Clay. So I think we're gonna call it a day and I will put up some some numbers here of the fuel mileage that I got with my trailer. That again, that, that trailer that I had is a uh, 5x8 single axle Cheyenne trailer. It towed really nicely. I had, I don't know, I would say I had the oxyacetylene. I've got uh, a big 125 cubic foot and I believe an 80 acetylene. 
Uh, a, a pretty big rig for oxy settling. Now I actually have a place to use it. In the front, then uh, a toolbox that I used to keep my drill bits in. No, nothing real heavy, and then a bunch of Catherine's boxes and stuff from her old apartment. So I wouldn't say that trailer had more than 800 pounds, 800 or 900 pounds in it. And then I would take the truck with all the incidentals. The Oh, I still got to put the parts washer in. But all the incidentals, uh, I'd say probably easily a thousand pounds in the back of the truck. So, uh, and th this thing, geez, I say I'm going to end it, but I keep talking. Uh, this sort of acts like a sail. The truck didn't really want to do over 70 miles an hour, even empty. It didn't really seem to notice too much with the extra weight in it, other than it was sort of sagging. But I'm happy with it. it it's it served me very well today, and so uh, that's it. So. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and have a good weekend.